I've always felt that a society which is not based around the needs of the heterosexual family is asking for serious trouble. Um, in many areas of employment, men are now second-class citizens, young men. Young men must be feeling this in particular. I suppose people of my generation grew up at a time when there was a uh, reasonable equality of opportunity for men, but that's no longer the case, I think, in, in, in most public sector employment and even private sector employment. Uh, the quota system militates against uh, men with ability coming forward. Boys are discouraged from being masculine. You know, we, we, you will never hear any female uh, journalist in Ireland speak, using the term masculine without preceding it with the term toxic or toxic masculinity. It's, those two words seem to go together. It's, it's almost as if being a masculine or being a man uh, is a poisonous and a dangerous thing. That's, that's certainly the way our society goes. That is the way most of our political parties think at the moment. And this is a very unbalanced um, situation. Uh, it, it, we need men and women working together. You know, we need both sides of the human personality. Uh, um, human masculinity, male masculinity is a very, very important thing, uh, particularly in terms of standing up to government. I think the reason that our governments push for that feminization of society and push for the denigration of the old masculine virtues is because they know that men will stand up and fight them. Women much less so. Women can be belligerent, but they will not stand up to a centralized power of the state. Uh, they tend to be more collectivist, they tend to just want to have their needs looked after. Um, that is what women, uh, you know, historically would have done. Uh, whereas men will look for improvements, they will look to stand up for rights, they will look for a, a decent and um, an open and a civilized, uh, a, a democratic and a liberal uh, society. And I don't mean liberal in the ways which it's used today, I mean liberal in, in, the, in the classical Jeffersonian sense of that term. So I think, yes, it is very important to get young men involved. I think Ireland has uh, one of the highest young male suicide rates in the world of, of any country. It's a shocking, shocking statistic, which is never, ever mentioned. Uh, something like 90% of our suicides are male, uh, young men. It's a dreadful, dreadful thing. Uh, and it's something that we never question. We never even talk about it. It's, it's the elephant in the room that we simply don't mention.